Hello, welcome to part 99 of this Ruby on Rails series and in this we will be focusing on deployment. So before we start, there are a couple of things that I want to uh, mention. I did try using flywheel, fly, let me check that, flywheel, no, no fly.io. Dot, fly dot I tried fly.io, uh, the rendering was really slow, it was not working out really great. Uh, after that I tried DigitalOcean uh, but again it's a paid thing Heroku is also a paid thing uh, then finally I tried render and in that it worked up to an extent so what I did was I got rid of my account completely and now I'm recreating this entire video okay so yeah we'll start from scratch now before you start deploying following stats and all those kind of things what we should think is what all things will affect our code base meaning uh, what are the things on which our code base depend and the things which can be external so for example the example of external is stripe payments right in that we are using a secret api key and those kind of things so it's an external thing for us uh, google maps in that also we are using api key so that's again an external thing for us too third one will be our active storage so we have our own storage that we are using locally right now but we will have to store images somewhere right uh, that somewhere can be aws uh, google cloud anything right so that's third thing and fourth can be our database like you can have your database separately right so that's the fourth thing so we will have to worry about all those things <coughs> for now let's not go in depth of it and start using render uh, it's it's actually free so you can easily deploy your Ruby on Rails related application. Let's go to dashboard. Uh, I just have my account. Uh, other than that, I don't have anything else here. Now what I'll do is I'll go to docs. And in that, inside Ruby, we have Rails. We, don't, we haven't used Sidekick, so I won't go with this. I'll just use this. And in this, they have mentioned creating the rails application actually this is the common pattern that i have seen across uh, various documentation of various deployment agents uh, they do mention steps of creating the project and then deploying it uh, we have already created the project so we won't go into that we have created the database we have used this uh, create a hello world landing page this we have already done from our side update app for render okay so this is what we will have to do. Render builds a project before each deploy by running a build command that you specify. Let's create a script to use this command. Okay. Render build.sh in your bin directory. Okay. So let's go to bin new file. And in that I'll copy this. What are the instructions? Okay, exit on error, uh, bundle install, execute rails, asset precompile, and asset clean. So I think these are the commands that they will be executing on the server. So they have asked us to create this file. <coughs> Make sure the script is executable before committing it to Git. Okay, so this is just a test thing that we can do. Let's do this in rails. Let me stop my server because we don't need that right now and it's working. Okay, swap SQLite for Postgres SQL. We already have Postgres SQL, so we don't have to do this step. Deploy to render, okay. There are two ways of deploying to render by declaring your services with your within your repository in a render.yml file or by manually setting up each and everything. So what we will do is we will do it automatically, meaning we will set up the render.yml file yes we'll set up this in our uh, code and from that we will deploy okay now pay attention on when things are getting public meaning are there any secrets that you are revealing on your github code because we want our code to be secure right so let's have a look at this entire thing let's copy this for now we don't know anything about this but they have mentioned service uh, database which and they haven't mentioned any thing specific it's it's a common thing we might be able to change these we can actually change these database name but we won't do that right now 
services this free this uh, build command they, they are just building the same thing that we have mentioned in this uh, let me give me a minute i'll just pick this call okay sorry for that but a lot of important calls are happening right now so i have to pick them up anyways uh, so it's just a build command, a start command, those kind of things. These are the things that we have been doing, uh, but in a bit different way. We haven't been using bundle execute to that. Uh, we have been, we have just been using Rails server. Uh, so it's not a big deal. Database URL. This is a key. That means we will have to store it somewhere in our database, uh, in our entire project or on our server. So that's one thing. Second is this, this is also a key and this is also a key. So these three things we'll have to store somewhere. We'll see right now, but keep these in mind. Uh, remember, okay, you don't need to understand how these things work in depth, but you should be able to read these things. So we have done this a lot. I, I've seen a lot of videos, but they don't explain you things like how to navigate through these things, which I don't like. If you don't set web concurrency rails, determine a value based on the runtime physical CPU count. Okay, by default the value is two. Okay, if we don't mention this, it's completely fine. They will do it the default way, but yeah, we are just copying it from them, so it should not be an issue. Now in this render dashboard, go to blueprint page. Okay, now we will have to set up on our dashboard. So let's go to dashboard. We have done this second in the render dashboard go to the blueprint page and click on new blueprint instance okay select your repository after giving render the permission to access it if you haven't already done that okay if your github is not connected you will have to connect it my github is already connected so i'll just use this in the deploy window select set the value of this and approve 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 where is approve okay i don't think i followed these steps uh but still let me check we have to create a web service we have to create a postgres sql these are the two things important things we are not using redis infrastructure as code of a single file use it to, to set up all your services at once okay it is used to set up all the services at once let's try these out explore these things also okay i will set up a web service build and deploy from a git repository next connect it's airbnb name that's fine uh, region i am from india so i'll select singapore uh, you can select based on your uh, which branch you want to deploy you can have a separate deployment branch but i'll for now i'll just keep it main only okay because i'll delete this project as soon as the video is over now in this we have to execute some commands right so for that i'll again go to the documentation in that we have these commands build command this one Remember the colon after this, you have to do colon and then only add another command. And another instruction is pre-deploy command is star. Okay, the star is, is available only for paid instances and in free, you will have to mention it in build only. Okay, so I'll copy this and I'll paste it along with this only. Okay, remember it's in build command. Now for start command, there is another one which is when Rails server. I'm using this one right now, bin Rails server, but we might have to change it to bin slash dev, uh, like we used to do locally. I'm not fully sure, so I'm not changing anything in this. Now we will have to set up the environment variables. So before we do that, It's a free one. Where can we set the environment? Remember, this should be Ruby. Yes, here we can set the environment variable. So Rails master key is already available. So for that, you can go to config and in that you will find master.key. Copy, paste. 
add another variable what is the uh, other variable that they have mentioned database url so for that we will have first have to create the database so again going to my dashboard and in that is starting the postgres sql i'll name it as airbnb optional so won't write it region again singapore version 16 that's fine data dog no we don't have that free create database okay it is unavailable so we might have to wait for a bit creating let's see other values what are the other values web concurrency so this is the key that I talked about web concurrency too. So now if you see all these things and compare them with render.yml file, database URL, we have mentioned this. So our server will pick, uh, the values are connected in our server. We have mentioned the variables in our code. Okay. Uh, Rails master key, this is here, web concurrency, this is here. So this is a really secure way. Why? You can share your code base, make it open source completely and no one will be able to fully access it because your keys are, are on your server. So that, that's the most common way. Uh, almost all the servers do this only. So yeah, let's do this. Let's check our database. It has been created. Copy this internal database URL. I might have to blur out various keys or I will get rid of the entire entire project on this render after I have shown you the video, not sure. Nothing can advance. Let's see if anything comes up. Okay, we can also add our .env file if you want to. We'll see this later. Right now, let's just create a web service. And I'm assuming it might take some time. What's okay, there's no additional detail after this. So I think we have followed all the steps. Uh, we haven't used the bleep blueprint path because they did mention that it's a shortcut. Uh, so yeah, let's wait for a couple of minutes. Uh, if there will be any errors, we'll see how to tackle them. Should I pause my video? What I'll do is I'll just pause my video for the timing until unless it is not finished or maybe we can see what's going on actually. This will be the website, but it is not yet finished. So let's close this. No, this is the code. Okay, it is going to take some time. So I'll just pause this until uh, there is some status change or something which I can show you. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, from the last stage where we were showing deploying, uh, the screen changed to this. It is still in progress, but now at least we can see logs. So we will, we'll, I would like to show you if there are some errors or something like this. Okay, so let's start from top and try to understand if something makes sense to us and compare it with how locally we were doing it. So they have our GitHub account and they have the commit, latest commit on main branch. So from that, they are pulling the code. They are using node version, installing it, okay. Docs on specifying the node version, okay, it's fine. Uh, installing the bun, installing the Ruby. So they are setting up their machine basically, okay. Updating Ruby gems, update, successfully installed Ruby gems, update, okay. Uh, then installing Ruby gems, successfully build this, this, this. Ruby gems generating bins, enhancements, update this license. Install Bundler, un remove unnecessary rescue, pull request, th th this, okay. So basically they are installing various gems here. Uh, bug fixes, handle empty, okay. It's completely not from our local database, so it's fine. Enhancements, setup.rp, about setup.rp, if Ruby is too old. Pull request, okay. Documentations, enhancements, Allow skipping empty license gem build. Warning by setting license to nil. Okay, this I haven't seen, but it's a warning, so I won't care. Announcements, announcements, documentation, enhancement. Okay. After that, they have, they have started importing all the 
gems that we have mentioned by executing these commands also so you can see bundle install bundle execute uh, this, this clean render this migrate so these are the build command that we had mentioned right so there we started that after that okay so there are some warnings again this one warning we haven't mentioned a striped a secret key which we haven't done so it's completely fine we'll see that later uh, review these these okay uh, warning as a tailwind css warm gray has been renamed to stone okay these are tailwind css issues we are not worried about that and even they are warning so yeah great 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 i think let's see one of these this this okay and after that they started working on the database i think yes they started working on the database so creating various tables anything else in this then post deployment command stripe secret key okay there is one caveat with this uh, setup which is a free setup is that i think they will run a db migrate each time uh, let me have a look start command pre deployment command and build command okay so basically whenever we are building the server uh, building our project on the server we will have to run this db migrate in our server but these type of commands are needed only for one time thing pre deployment command those kind of things right so that's a caveat for for the free tier basically we will have to do this step multiple times uh, whenever we are trying to build our project so that's not the most optimal thing but i think they have done this maybe on their some form of optimization on their side uh, because obviously it would have been costing them a lot and that's why they've kept it in paid services only still deploying first deploy started this revert to original no. close this close this again i'll pause this until unless this in progress okay it is live that's a great timing so you will find this link let's open this okay so our website is visible that means rails is working first criteria which was rails ruby on rails should work and should get deployed so that is working that's the first criteria that has passed great and it shows that we have to add empty state and those kind of things we have already mentioned to do for that let's sign up uh test one at the rate gmail.com six okay and sign up ignore ignore close and the sign up was successful okay dangerous why is it dangerous site is legitimate okay uh so that's one now let's go to dashboard and add some property and see how it works so i'll mention it as hotel touch price one dollar i'm keeping it one dollar because if i have to do some payment using stripe i can do that uh, i don't want to be in hundred dollar and make that kind of transaction or maybe i won't do a stripe transaction because they will have to do it i'll have to set up my bank account and all those kind of things headline will keep some let me do one thing for this actually let me run it locally and copy details from that bin slash dev let's go to okay we don't have it so let's copy this paste it here copy this paste it here for description i'll go to this one copy paste the space should be bold and 
guest policy should be bold and this one should be italics yes italics guest count 10 bedroom count 5 uh, bed count 5 bathroom count 4 for example address will copy it from our code base if we can find it so we cannot so what I'll do is I'll write something at them lorem ipsum street lorem ipsum area New York New York United States United States let's save this so this should add the property now we are in the edit section of it so we'll upload few photos for that okay sorry we'll have to choose first so for that i already have them locally so i'll use these actually i'll use not this one let's open all these six files selected all the details have been added and save okay it has been done now there are a couple of issues one is amenities so we'll have to find a way to so that admin can add these or we will have to write some command so that we can generate these amenities that's one thing and second is google location it is not working because the api key is not correct uh, otherwise the deployment has been successful uh, images won't be visible because we haven't set up the images part of it uh, if you remember from active storage I, I mentioned that I, we will have to save it on google cloud or some service where we can add those images otherwise everything else is actually working so i'm happy about it uh, i'll just have to be a bit reserved on what all things i can actually share uh, if you will go to confirm and pay, you will see problem because it's again a we haven't added this. So here's my plan. I will do all the things which don't require much payment or which are completely free. Okay. Uh, so the concept behind this is it makes sure that you can do anything which has a static thing, uh, even the database thing, but doesn't support images. It should be really easy for for you to deploy now. Okay, that being said, I will see in next video what all things we can optimize on this. Uh, and eventually I will, I will end this service because I think it's a free service. And what happens in free service sometimes is that when will they start charging? Sometimes we don't know. Uh, at the same time, I think it's a three month free trial. I'm not fully sure. So yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, but yeah, this has required a lot of efforts because I had to try out various other services, make payments to them and then finalize, okay, render is this something that, which is working really good. So we'll focus on that only right now. And uh, thanks a lot. Do leave a comment, uh, like, share, subscribe to these videos. Uh, if you are watching this and you are not a subscriber, do consider subscribing. I have been creating content in Ruby on Rails React for a really, really long time on my YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, do enjoy these channel, uh, these content. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.